guys, Kat here, and we are on day 20 of our new era 30 day challenge. So today is all about lower body since yesterday was all about upper body. Every exercise today will be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. During those 15 seconds, we'll have a preview box where you can see exactly what the next move is, movement is, as well as a mod box just in case that moves a bit too intense for you. Now remember, we're here to challenge ourselves, so make sure you go heavy. Going heavy does not make you bulky. I'm gonna be using 30 pound dumbbells today, 15 pound and possibly 10, we'll see. And the format will be A, B, so we'll have one move, second move, and then we're gonna repeat. All right, so let's get warmed up, and let's get started. Rock. All right guys, let's get warmed up. So we're gonna start with some hip rotations. You can hold onto a steady wall if you need to, if that's for you for stability. So it's gonna be low impact today. Really excited about that again. <laughs> Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Feet are gonna be out wide. And from here, we're gonna hinge from the hips, stop at about 90, and then bring it back. Hinge and bring it back. So we're getting those hamstrings, we're getting those hips. Getting some nice hip control here. Let's go two more. And last one. And then from here, come on down. We're gonna sink down side to side. You can scoot your feet closer if you need to. You don't need to touch the ground. Just make sure your back is nice and flat. Get a nice little movement here. Nice job, guys. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. And go ahead, shake it out. Let's go with some butt kickers. You can feel free to jump with it, but this is a low impact workout. <laughs> you're gonna chill a little bit today. It's all right. <laughs> that doesn't mean it's gonna be easy though. So make sure you're using heavy weights to challenge yourself. And let's go ahead and stabilize on the right foot. We're gonna go with some swings. So the faster and bigger the swing, the more challenging it's gonna be. You can sink down a little bit to make the challenge more difficult, or you can slow it down, make it a little bit easier if your stability is a bit off. Here on my channel, we make sure to work that balance. It's so, so important, especially as we get older. And go ahead and switch legs. Make sure you're breathing. You can stare at a non-moving object in front of you to help to stabilize. Nice job, guys. Keep sinking down if you can. See how your body is today. Let's go for three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and shake it out. We're gonna go with some regular squats. So toes can be pointed out quite a bit, depending on your hips. Push that booty back, sink down. Make sure your knees aren't collapsing in. Sink down, come up, nice flat back. Try to get to at least 90 degrees for that squat. Act like you don't want to sit on a dirty toilet seat. <laughs> Let's go one more. And go ahead, shaky, shaky. We're gonna go with some high knee marches. So drive that knee up, pump those arms. We'll still be working today as they hold the weight for us. Feel free to make this high knees if you're feeling it today. <laughs> Just remember to sprinkle in some low impact workouts in your training. We'll go ahead, shake it out. We're gonna go with some back lunges. So alternate the legs. Now in this workout, if lunges, going and like sinking down all the way is too much for your knees, don't sink down as low, okay? You can still step back, sink down if that's okay for you. We are here to make ourselves stronger, not injured. Let's go one more each. Last one. And nice job, go ahead, shake it out. We're gonna come down to the ground, feet about hip width apart, laying on our back. We're gonna press our hips up, squeezing the butt and come down. So a nice glute bridge. Remember to make it effective, not easy. So you wanna think about really squeezing that butt at the top, activating the glutes. So that way they fire off during our workout. 
Nice job, guys. And we're going to hold it at the top. Keep squeezing. And go ahead and add some marches if you can. So if you need to just hold it at the top, that's okay. Keep those hips up. Let's go four, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right. We are going to make our way up however you need to. Go ahead and shake it out. One last one. We're going to go side to side lunges. So instead of just swiveling side to side, we're going to push our butt back, sink down, come up, and switch. You want to make sure you're not shooting your knee forward. If your, knee, if your legs are long, they might go over the toes, and that's okay, but it matters where you place the weight in this movement. I'm making sure to push my butt back. I'll give you a little different angle. Nice job, guys. Inner and outer thighs, quads. Last one. All right, go ahead, shaky, shaky, and let's get started. 15 seconds. We are going to begin with front squats. So I'm going to challenge myself by using a 30 pound dumbbell in front. This makes me use my core quite a bit more to place the weight here. And let's go. So just like in the warm up, push your butt back, sink down. We're just adding the weight to it. Modification is adding lighter weight or no weight at all. Nice job. Really think about squeezing that core. Keep rocking it, guys. 20 seconds. Your heart rate's gonna come up. <laughs> Just so you know. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done. Place that weight down safely, nice flat back. Then we're gonna go with some standing slow hip mobility. Okay, so we're gonna take that right leg. You're gonna be very, very slow with this. Okay, three, two, one, drive it up, turn it, place it in back, then come up the same way. Reverse that move. Up. Turn it so that quad is facing towards me. Up. You're not only going to feel it in the leg we're moving, but also very much the stabilizing leg. This might be unlike any other lower body workout you've ever done, which is cool. <laughs> Just want to show you guys my own training. Three. Two, and done. Okay, so shake it out. <laughs> we are gonna go back to front squats, and then we're gonna go the other side for that hip mobility. Pick that weight up safely, nice flat back. All right. Does your one side feel a little bit looser? Isn't that cool? <laughs> I love it. 30 seconds, guys. Whew. Last 20. Keep breathing. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay. Whew. Next up, we're going to go with that hip mobility again. Just checking the light. Yeah. Okay. Whew. All right, guys, get ready. Three, two, one. Knee up. Bring it around. Quad facing me. Lightly tap. Bring it back. Fitness is not just strength and cardio. It is also mobility, flexibility, coordination, balance, agility. So I try to bring all of the elements into our workouts. Keep it up, guys. 
legs. Tap it all the way. Three, two, and done. Okay, deadlifts are next. So I'm gonna grab my 30 pound dumbbells. I know you guys like to know modifications using lighter weight or no weight at all. Just make sure you're hinging from the hips. So you wanna think about pushing your butt back first. Bend the knees slightly, trace down your legs, stop a little bit before, or after the knees, sorry. Stop a little bit after the knees. Hinge, you should feel this in the back of the legs. Squeeze that core, back is flat, neck is neutral. Whew, 15 seconds, guys. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel it. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, alternating side lunges. I'm gonna grab my 15 pound dumbbells. So, remember we're alternating the sides. Ah, oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. So step, push your butt back, come down, come back up. Just like in the warm up, except we're meeting in the middle in between. Remember to work with your hips, you might need to point your toes out a little bit. Extending the spine and pushing the hips too far forward. Oh, the upper body thought it was going to get a break. <laughs> Whoopsies. Ten seconds, guys. Five, four. Three, two, one. Okay. Ah. Yay! <laughs> We're gonna go with those alternating side lunges. I'm gonna start with my right side this time. Just to be a little bit even. Okay, three, two, step. Sink down, come up, switch. If you don't have a lot of room, you can stick with what we did in the warm up. to a prayer. So I'll show you a bunch of variations. Nice and controlled. 
Keep your hips as square as you can towards the floor. <sighs> Three, two, all right. So, curtsy. Whichever leg you just used, you're gonna use again. I'm gonna grab my 30s and regret every rep. <laughs> all right, stabilizing on my right leg. Three, two, one. Step, sink down. You wanna make sure you still face me. Look at me, hi. <laughs> you don't wanna turn that torso. You'll feel this in the glutes and the quads on that right leg. So we're stepping to the side and a little bit and back. My forearms. <laughs> They're feeling it. Three, two, one. Okay, so next up, we're gonna go to the other side. That single leg squat, warrior three, knee drive. Whew. I might shorten that in the description. <laughs> okay. So, whoop. This side's a bit more challenging. And that's okay. It's okay if you wobble. Take your time. <sighs> and quiet today. <laughs> we lucked out. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, nice job guys. Curtsy on that other side. I'm gonna grab a towel. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's like, I don't want to ruin my makeup, but I want to get the sweat off. <laughs> I wear makeup when I work out because I want to. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel like a warrior. No shame. And if you don't like working out with makeup, that's awesome too. You gotta do what you love. Oh yeah, that glute. Oh my goodness. Five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, dog walk. This is gonna be very, really mean on the quads. <laughs> forward and back. You also go side to side. I always like to pretend I'm going in the forest underneath some bush that has thorns. So I gotta be real nice and low. If this isn't for your knees, no worries. Stick with the mod. Two, okay. 
Duck walk. Oh, man, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> So good, guys. So, so good. If you're just starting to work out barefoot, it can be, it can be hard. Like right now, it's definitely, my feet are a bit more sore. <laughs> so, you're not alone in that. Five, four, three, two. Okay. Oh, low sidestep, back lunge. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Starting over here. Low and back. Low. Back. Whew. Doing so good, guys. Lower body, baby. Five, four, three, two, and done. Sumo squat pulses, heel lifts. I am not gonna add weight to this because we're staying down the whole time. It's a lot of time under tension. If you're doing the mod, you're coming up in between. Give your legs a little break. Toes out, chest up. Lift up the heel, lift up the heel as you pulse. In our not if is quads. I can't get down as low as a regular sumo squat because this is intense. Sink down as low as you can. Make sure your knees are collapsing in. Really feel it in those inner thighs. Five, four, three, two, and down. Oh. <laughs> Single leg deadlift calf raise. I'm gonna grab my 15s <laughs> so I know I can do it safely. Whew. Back is flat. Single leg deadlift, slight bend in the stabilizing leg. Hinge from the hips. Up. Up. Again, you should feel this in the back of that leg that you're stabilizing on. And the calf. <laughs> Make sure you stabilize before you add any more movement. Touch down if you need to. <laughs> Three, two, and done. Okay, so remember which leg that you just worked. A little piece of something on my foot. Blah, blah. Okay. Ooh, second time, maybe. Last time on this. All right, let's go. So, pulse. You guys as sparkly as me? <laughs> it's a great place to be. Just saying. <laughs> Wait a few seconds, guys. <sighs> Doing so good. <sighs> Finish it out, guys. <sighs> Ten seconds. <sighs> Two, done. Oh gosh, okay. 
So single leg deadlift, calf raise. Last time. <sighs> Grab it. Then we're gonna need our mats after this. Breathe. Nice job, guys. Ooh. Keep it up. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, my left side's a little bit, a little bit more wobbly. 10 seconds, five, four, three, two, and done, okay. So this next one, if you're modifying, you're keeping your legs closer together, they're not at 90, 90, okay? So when you do this, think in. You wanna have a nice 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. This leg's gonna lift up. If you need to use your hands for assistance, you can. This can create a big cramp. <laughs> if you're not used to this movement, who is strengthening those hips, getting that awesome mobility. Use your hands in back of you if you need to, or slightly in front. Remember what side that you're lifting. Some of you are like, oh my God, what is this? Ow. <laughs> and done. Um, okay, so whatever side that you just lifted, we're gonna lift again, and we're gonna do a 90 degree pulse. Whew, okay. Hands right under the shoulders. We are so close to being done, guys. <laughs> okay. If you need more padding for your knees, feel free to, to fold up your mat more. No shame in that. Flatten out that foot, so you want to think about dorsal flex, so flex back. 20 seconds. Whew. Stabilizing leg is going to feel it too. pumpkin spice. You're only enabling it. <laughs> oh, that rough. This side's harder for me. challenging because the, they're both burning from what we just did. Five, four, three, two, 
and done, done. Okay, so this is gonna be one more time. Pardon me. I was like, oh, cool. All right, guys, so we are gonna stretch. If you do need to go, please do like the video before you go, comment and subscribe. All of those things help out my channel's algorithm, and that really means a lot to me. But if you're with me, feel free to repeat the workout. Ha <laughs> ha, or we'll stretch. All right, guys, let's come on down to that ground, grabbing our right knee close to that chest. And then relaxing the left leg down. Go ahead, keep pulling. It's like we can just, just come right. Thank you, you're so loud. <laughs> Hi, baby. Uh oh, he sees me laying down. He knows it's time. <laughs> Let's bring that knee to the outside, opening up that hip. Hi, honey. I know. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and cross it over that body with that left hand. Right arm to the right, look over that right shoulder. Hello. He knows I'm coming now. Go ahead, bring it back to center. We're going to switch sides. Anyone else have kitties? Let me know in the comments below if you have a kitty fur baby. And go ahead and bring that knee to the outside, opening up that hip. You can also let me know in the comments what their name is, how long you've had them, if they were a rescue, and what the funniest thing they do is. Let's go ahead and cross it over that body. Bring our left arm to the left, look over that left shoulder. You can go ahead and bring it back to center. Bring the bottoms of the feet together. Recline butterfly for a few breaths. So go ahead, big inhale. Exhale. Take another deep inhale, hold it then. And then you're going to exhale through your mouth. That felt nice. One more. Big inhale. Hold. Exhale through your mouth. And if you need your hands assistance, you can bring your knees close together. And you can feel free to use your hands for this, but we're going to rock up to a seated position. And from here, let's have our legs out in front. And I'll just show you this way. <laughs> have a, a slab of the back as you can as you reach forward. And then go ahead and collapse down. Maybe add a few rocks here. Lifting up the sit bones. Just releasing that lower back, those hips. And go ahead and bring it back up to center. We're gonna take that right leg, cross it over that body. Take the left arm, wrap it around. Left, or sorry, right hand and back, inhale tall. Exhale, twist and turn, pull that left leg close. Oh my goodness. Pull that right leg close to you. I had a 50-50 chance, guys. <laughs> Go ahead and bring it back to center. We're going to switch. One side, again, might be tighter, so just take note of that. And ask yourself, do I need to add a bit more mobility, flexibility work in my training? On one side, especially, or just all together. Go ahead and unravel. We do our stretches together, but it's very, very short, so I highly recommend stretching more after. We're gonna head into our mini meditation, which only takes about a minute. Hope you are welcome to join me. If you do need to go, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to lay down if that feels right for you. Palms are gonna be facing up, nice tall spine. Big inhale. And exhale. Feel free to close your eyes with me if that feels right for you as well. And go ahead, go with whatever breath feels best for you, whether it's deep breaths or regular. Let's 
try not to collapse those shoulders forward. Today, let's send some love and gratitude to these beautiful, beautiful legs that bring us through life. If you're like me, then you've been a bit insecure about them for a lot of your life. But we often forget how much they do for us. So today, when you look in the mirror, if you find yourself really just sending sad, hateful thoughts to them, follow ups with some wonderful thoughts of what they do for you. They help us run, help us walk to our favorite coffee shop, they help us do these workouts so we can challenge ourselves and get stronger. They help us pick up heavy weights, feel awesome. They help us to jump, with joy when something exciting happens. <laughs> Lincoln agrees. So let's send some love and gratitude to these beautiful, beautiful legs. These strong, capable, awesome legs that take us through life. Thank you, legs. Remember, you have all the power to choose how you see your body. What we fuel our bodies with, food-wise, is so important, but also movement and thought-wise. So I hope you choose to fuel that beautiful body with beautiful, loving thoughts like you do your best friends and your loved ones to yourself. Go ahead, big inhale and exhale. Slowly open those eyes, clasp the hands in front, Pull the shoulders in, big inhale up. And exhale, push, 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 push. We are done for today, yay! We did it, you guys did it. We completed day 20 of our new era 30 day challenge. So thank you guys so, so much for joining me. Please do like the video before you go. And also subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below. Let me know how your legs feel after this. How was the booty burn at the end? If your arms or an upper body is sore from yesterday. Or if you want to let me know what your cat's name is. And if you can't think of anything else, then you can always put a cloud emoji. Because clouds are nice. Be like clouds. <laughs> All right, rather than that, tomorrow is day 21, a well-deserved movement flow, and then we'll get back into the craziness. So thank you guys again so, so much for joining me. If you want to support my channel, there is a link down in my description that says support my channel. Anything and everything is so greatly appreciated, and I just really appreciate you guys for choosing me as your trainer. I will see you tomorrow. Have an amazing rest of the day. All right.